guy, you remember Mufasa? I rescued him about three months ago. It's his birthday yesterday, and he's a year old. He's a year old, uh, like yesterday or the day before. We don't have the official date, but uh, that's the date I got on his uh, stamp when I got him. So he's a year old, and he's doing really, really well. He's gained a lot of weight. He's happy. He has a, a best friend here. <laughs> They're like little monsters together. And then he's got a big sister there. And she tolerates him. And he's Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we're working on him. I haven't really done much with him, but, you know, I'm just letting him do it naturally. There's no pressure applied on him. Just want him to be a dog. He's never even met a dog. I mean, he must have seen one, but he's never actually played with one. And when he came here and he ran off leash, the owner... I'll keep my opinions about him to myself, but the owner said, oh, that's what he looks like when he ran? I'm like, what do you mean? He's never ran? He goes, no, he's never been off leash. He's only been on a four foot leash his whole life. So very frustrating to even hear that, um, but that's okay. You know, we live here, I live here, he's protected, and he's happy. And uh, again, I appreciate the, uh, the support that I got online and uh, the people that really made it happen and uh, yeah I made some really good friends because of this dog and uh, I added another best friend to my heart so it means a lot and he's doing well Mufasa Aratete Rehede Mufasa Brava Sitsa Aratete Oh Go 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 Mufasa Aratete Eta, sita, eta, hit, sita, rock down, ara, yeah, go, 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 ara, papa, bravo, we're just working on, on his own words, on his own term, no, no, not punishing him, no, not, no pressure, we just, you know, I'm working with him, but I'm not working with him, you know what I mean, letting him develop, do his own thing. There's no, no need to pressure, you know, no need to force, no need for food. I want to, I, I want to use food. I feed him a lot. I want our compliance to come out of respect, not through engagement or bribery. And the reason why I can do that with him is because he's my dog. You know? If you're trying to work with a client's dog, you want to get those results. And, you know, <clears throat> if you're dealing with a dog that has some traumas and no socialization and, you know, hesitation towards men. You, know, you, you want to use a system that um, that works, that you know that works, that isn't going to cause, you know, rift. I'll give you an example. So, you know, if you, if you ask a dog to do something and it doesn't do it, well then, okay, you, you, let's say you punish it or you correct it or you scold it or you raise your voice. The pressure, the pressure that you used, whatever you used, was negative psychologically. Good boy! Yeah. And, uh... Uh, the pressure that you use, you know, even a treat is pressure, but it, it may not be traumatic pressure, right? Um, and, and that's the thing. So, you know, any type of uh, command is, a, uh, you know, communication, right? And if the dog doesn't do it, well, then you have to figure out a way to apply pressure. And I, hold on a second. But pressure doesn't have to be negative. Even a treat is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a way of, pressuring the dog but doesn't necessarily apply negative pressure maybe I should use the word motivate the dog because my English isn't the you know the word one word could change the whole direction of the conversation believe me I'm from the Middle East and one word can create a fucking shitstorm so yeah so I think I think you know when your engagement of to motivate the animal right ah here we go okay so you ask your dog to do something it, it, it fails to do what you want, then you would encourage it, motivate it, uh, let's say with a treat, to uh, encourage it to comply. Okay, let's. And then if it doesn't do that, if you did something hands-on, then you're creating pressure, and that pressure would be negative potentially because it's it's negative. You know, you're applying that pressure, like do it now. But if you took that treat and you took it away. I'll give you an example. Mufasa, aratete. Mufasa. So look, he, he blew by me, right? Mufasa, aratete. Hey, 
And then when he comes, you guys are playing. Yeah, you guys are playing. Shh. Yeah, you guys are playing. You are playing. Good girl, yeah. You tell him, you jealous? Are you jealous? Zara Lili, Aratit. Tutut, right? Sit, sa. Lots. Da. I know you want to play. Yeah, I know. Ati. Gotcha. Leave it. Shut. You gotta learn. Uh uh. Shh. You pass it. Ata. Ata. Zara Lili. Orepa. Zara. I got her. You guys are playing? Yeah. Hey. Push. Ata. Sit. Uh, you just want to play. Left. Good. Down. Stay. Left. Down. Gosh. Stay. Gosh. Ah. Down. Stay. Right. Ah. Down. Ah. Okay. Down. Stay. Down. Stay. Ah, Stay. See, they're dogs. Ah, ah. Go play. They're dogs. They're going to get into that. They live together. They're brother and sister. Knowing them, that's typical play. That's him saying, don't listen to that asshole. I'm way more fun. And that's her saying, no, I got to listen to this guy. He's not so much of an asshole. You shouldn't believe everything you see on the internet. Or whatever. You know, I don't know how they tell each other that. <clears throat> but the whole thing is, they're going to get into that. And that was actually really cool that you guys saw that. Because to the untrained eyes, like, oh, it's out of control. Yeah, it was chaotic. But it wasn't out of control. I know the dogs. I know how far they're going to take it. Me as the handler, the owner, the director, or the guy, the guy that gets the guidelines... <laughs> That's going to happen, regardless if you like it or not. Being able to... Hey, brava! Hey, hey, sir. Hey, da. Brava! Good boy, go play. And that was all natural. If I would have let that situation go to hell, right there, what you just saw with the... Rah, if I would have let that go to hell, the animal would realize I don't have control during chaos animal wouldn't want to comply less chaos you know it, it, sometimes training needs to be created through uh, um, artificial chaos you know like protection people running around gunshots you know dust smoke whatever right? because you want to replicate the environment not only visually but mentally and then you want to replicate the level of excitement that you that the dog's going to go through when it sees like a cat or a dog or uh, a squirrel or a bear, you know, when you're hiking. If you can't replicate or duplicate that intense, that intensity and have psychological control, psychological control over your dog's impulse control, you, you've lost it all. This is why training is so important. This is why the, the, the drill work is so important. The only way you can get to do that is if you can replicate in a safe way an environment of chaos, you know. So, you know, having a dog, having a dog that is going to be in a yard you want to be able to replicate the chaos super important i hope this makes sense i hope it does but enjoy thanks